What's up YouTube? Welcome to today's video. I missed yesterday for Vlogmas. Um, long story short, I thought I was gonna record like a travel day, but our flight got delayed and all these things happen. And then we got in super late on Tuesday night slash Wednesday morning. Jet lagged, didn't get home till like 4 a.m. Slept till noon yesterday. It just didn't happen. So not uh, make it excuses, but that's why. Okay, so anyway, doesn't matter, we missed today, but we're back at it. 11 days of Vlogmas is still pretty lit if you ask me. So today we are going to focus on the booty, the glutes. I'm going to go over five things to stop doing if you're trying to grow your glutes. So number one, first and foremost, stop dieting. Whenever you want to gain muscle, you want to be in a caloric surplus. Yes, it is possible um, to gain muscle while you are in a deficit. Ha however, if you're like really trying to focus on growing the glutes, growing your muscle, you don't want to be in a deficit, especially if you're somebody who already has a lower body fat percentage. There's a higher chance that if you have higher body fat that you would be able to be in a deficit and grow your booty But if you're truly trying to focus and put all your efforts into growing your butt, stop dieting. You need to get yourself at least at maintenance calories and then eventually into a surplus. So depending on where you're at in your journey, if you have been dieting, I suggest reverse dieting up, slowly increasing those calories over several weeks, then staying at your maintenance for a few weeks and then bumping up to a caloric surplus. So you wanna stop dieting. The more food that you have growing, going to your muscles, the better, especially those pre and post workout meals. Definitely make sure you're getting in some carbs pre workout, help fuel your muscles for that workout. Post workout, 20 to 30 grams of protein at the minimum, carbs as well, some healthy fats as well. Really fuel that recovery. Number two, stop focusing on all the fancy exercises. I'm not saying don't throw in some of the accessory movements at the end, but I'm saying really focus on the basics. In particular, weighted hip thrusts and weighted glute bridges, as well as squats, sumo squats, sumo deadlifts, all the good stuff. You really wanna focus on the compound exercises and the basics, really get heavy with those movements. And then you can finish up with some lighter weight accessory movements, some different things. You could do some glute kickbacks, all that. But the meat and potatoes of your workout, if you're growing the booty, needs to be hip thrusts and squats. Number three, Stop just going through the motions, okay? If you are just, you know, doing your squats, not really focusing on it, it's not really that challenging for you, you're just you're just doing this workout you found on, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say Pinterest, um, which yeah, Pinterest too. Stop doing this workout that you found on Instagram. Really focus on the workout, focus on the exercise, think about the muscle group that you're doing. Really work on that mind-muscle connection. Think about how your glutes are being utilized in the movement, whether it's through the hip hinge or whatever the motion is, depending on what you're doing. If you're you know, doing a box squat, really think about driving through those heels and using your glutes to really pull you up. I mean, in reality, a lot of these movements are compound exercises that you're gonna be doing. You're using, you know, you have your accessory, accessory muscles that you're gonna be using as well, but you really wanna try and think about using your butt in these movements, try and feel the burn. That brings me to number four. Stop doing what everybody else is doing. Just because you see this workout on Instagram doesn't necessarily mean that it's perfect for you. We all have different anatomies and you really have to do these exercises over time and figure out what you can really get that mind-muscle connection with. I've talked about in previous videos that due to the anatomy of my hips, I really have to warm up my glutes if I really wanna feel them firing during a workout. Some people may say, oh, you don't need you know, hip circles or all these crazy warm up things or whatever else to get your glutes firing, but for me, I do. And um, Stephanie Buttermore actually did a video, like the top, I don't know, however many exercises that she really feels the burn in her glutes for. So yeah, they're great ones to try, but she, emphasizes in that video time and time again that that is how she feels it. That's where she feels the burn. That's what works for her, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that works for you. So I really suggest, especially if you're in the beginning of your fitness journey and you're not really sure what exercises are gonna be the best for you, 
take a couple of weeks and really go through different ones and try different variations of them and see where you really feel that burden, where you can make the mind muscle connection so that you know that those are the exercises that are most likely going to help you build your glutes the most. And last but not least, number five, this kind of ties in with the last one, but stop comparing your progress to everybody else's. We do have different anatomies, like I was saying. So, so and so's glutes may grow super fast. I know that Nikki Blackadder just posted on a YouTube video recently. She had the, the Q and A, and she was like, "Yeah, like my glutes just fire really easily." I was like, "Must be nice. Can't relate." So. My glutes aren't going to grow as fast as somebody else's, but mine may grow faster than somebody else's over here. It's going to be different for everyone. It's going to be relative to your body. I know this sounds weird, but I've realized that I have a really short butt, like just the distance that my like insertion and, oh my God, I'm having a brain fart origin uh anatomy like just the distance from like my origin and my insertion of like my glute muscles is just like a short distance that's just how my body is but a lot of these girls that i would like envy before i'm like oh my god why does her butt look like this it's because hers is like a longer surface area we just have different bodies so that's why from the side i have this bubble butt but then it looks different other ways that's it's just our anatomy it is what it is some of us can fire our glutes faster. Some of us have been doing it longer. There's just so many different variables. Um, so please, please stop comparing your progress to somebody else. Worry about yourself, stay in your lane, focus on your own progress and things are going to go a lot better for you. Focus on things that work for you, exercises that you know are gonna get you where you need to be, follow programming that works for you. If you're not sure what works for you, try different things out. If you can afford a coach or personal trainer, hire one. Go through different exercises with them. Figure out what's going to work for you. If you can't, try the different workouts that you find on the internet and just focus on pinpointing. Take a notebook with you or write it in your phone. I really felt it when I did it like this. I tried a squat with the, my toes pointed out at different degrees. This I felt it more, this I couldn't. Adding the band helped. Without the band, was I could feel it more, etc., etc. Figure out what works for you. Compare your own progress. Take pictures over time of yourself. Don't worry about sis on Instagram. Okay? All right, I hope that was helpful, guys. Now I'm going to throw in a Planet Fitness friendly leg day workout. I'm in my hometown. That's like one of the only gyms we have, and that's where my dad has a membership. So did a leg workout with you guys that hopefully will be helpful to any of you that have, even if you don't work at Planet Fitness, you can do it anywhere. But if you just have a gym with limited equipment, apartment gym, whatever it is, this is for you. All right, everybody, we're doing a Planet Fitness friendly leg day, and we are taking Richard, this is my father, wave to the camera, and Kevin through this. Not willingly, but we're doing it.